on today's episode of Cooking with Megs in DC, we're going to show you how to make these delicious golden crisp cheesy bread stick yeah. thingies and this delicious sauce to go with it. Delicious. And it's all gluten free. Yeah. So I prefer this brand. It is amazing and actually doesn't taste gluten free. It actually tastes pretty close to breading. And it comes, it is kind of pricey, but it comes with two of these bad boys. So you're gonna preheat the oven to 410. And then you just open up these up. There's a couple secrets. You wanna bring them a little bit closer. Come here. To getting this to taste good. That's too close, too close, too close. Oh, done diddly done did too much. We're going to flip it over so that it's actually upside down and we're going to spray butter Everywhere. on the back of it. We're basically going to season this really well because when you bite into it, that's what your tongue's going to be touching is that seasoning. <laughs> so we're going to do garlic powder. Ooh. And then a little bit of lemon seasoning or lemon pepper. Yeah, you want the pepper part. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper? And too? the lemon pepper, like, be like careful how much you put on. Turn that over. Do it again. Then we're doing again. Do it again. Do it again. The crust tends to get really hard on these, so I'm making sure to give that extra attention as far as butter. Whereas the middle doesn't need that much because it actually it'll get soggy if you do. So garlic powder all over this bitch. <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> all over. We like us some garlic powder. And then just a little bit of more lemon pepper. Just a little bit. A lot, baby girls. Then we're going to put cheese on it. And you can use however much cheese you want. Tons. The whole bag. Not me. <laughs> Like, I probably won't even need that second bag that I pulled out. Oh, that was taco. Taco, taco. This is just Colby Jack is what I prefer to use. I might as well just finish the bag off. Not as well. Can you stop stimming over here? Sorry. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. I'm trying to film and trying to focus. And this is all I see in the peripherals. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was rocking. Yeah, well, they can't even see you, so... You don't want to see me. Okay, so now that we put the cheese on it, we're going to put just a little bit more garlic powder on top. And then the trick is Italian seasoning. You don't want a whole lot. Just like, you know. And you can put some more lemon pepper on if you like that. I usually just do it just around the crust. It kind of gets like... Um, Toasted, toasted, you know. Toasted. Okay. Now that's the stuff. Well, that's just one part to this. Oh yeah, that's right. Because the second part is making the dipping sauce for it. I need a bowl. Okay. I'm the official go getter. Hey y'all, this is my secret, secret sauce. Everybody that we ever like make this for loves it. And they're always like, well, how did you make this sauce? I'm gonna give you the secret ingredient and there's two ways you can have it. You can have it cold or hot. So you get yourself a strainer and I'm just using like a bowl like this. And you're going to Get yourself your salsa, whatever kind you like. I recommend getting mild or non-spicy. I don't put chunks in this. That's the key. I mean, I guess if you like chunky salsa, you could. You could put chunks in here. Yeah. 
She's not a big fan of tomatoes, though. So if you don't like tomatoes, this is how you get rid of your tomatoes. Well, and it's part of the sauce. Like, it makes the sauce, like, creamy because it doesn't have chunks in it. Yeah. Like, I don't mind a little bit of chunks, but for this recipe in particular, I don't want chunks. How did she just come down the stairs? It is not closed. Hey, come here. We have a baby gate up, but apparently the baby gate's not up. So then I will dump this in the trash. Damn it. I tried to, because we're filming, like I'm distracted. I tried to make the sink and I got a little bit on the floor. Oh no. Then you put the sour cream in here. And you're just gonna eyeball it for consistency. You don't want it to be too liquidy, but you don't want it to be too much sour cream. This sauce is good just like this. You don't need to add anything else to it if you're serving it cold. If you're gonna be serving it hot, like in a crock pot, like when we go to get togethers or whatever, then I would put some cheese in here, like some shredded cheese to help kind of thicken it up. Or you can do like Velveeta or something that's a little bit thicker. But that's, that's kind of like the coloring that you want. I know it looks a little chunky right now, but you kind of have to get the chunks out. The pizza's ready. It's ready? Yeah, the good thing about this pizza is it only takes like eight minutes to cook. And that's ah, it. My toe. Well, close your legs. You ran over my toe. You married. Keep them closed. Yeah, how's my wife going to get my junk? So yeah, it only takes, well, and this hasn't even been eight minutes. And look at that. Would you look at that? Okay, so it's pretty much done. Oh, that's so hot. So I like to cut it like breadsticks. So first I'll make two cuts all the way through. I'm saving half of it for tomorrow for leftovers. Yeah, baby. So I want all of it tonight. I mean, think about it, like that's really not that much. It's pretty thin, so. Alrighty, the final product is here. First, we're going to dip it in delicious sauce. Taste, taste it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Does it taste like cheesy bread? Like breadsticks? It does. It is so but delicious, you sour, guys. The sour cream makes me feel like I should be eating like a taco salad or something. I don't know. Or not a taco salad. You know what I mean? Like a quesadilla. It's good. It's good. I usually make this with corn chips or tortilla chips. Mmm. Yeah. For like get-togethers. Yeah. But it's still good. Mmm. Thanks for watching. If you guys want more cooking videos, which you guys seem to really be liking them, on the recent giveaway video, a lot of people have commented that. Really? Leave a comment down below for any future cooking videos that you want to do, that you want us to do. And make sure you like the video so that I know you actually like cooking videos. Yeah. Cooking naked, coming soon. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know, I don't know about that. Actually, <laughs> someone did suggest making Fago sausage. I seen that. And I was like, hmm, I'm trying to figure it out. I want to do a video for it, though. I imagine you would let it soak in the fago, yeah. right? I don't want to give it away, but I have a plan. Watch. If you like uh, watching our cooking videos, you can click one of these videos right here. And like always, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.